everybody knows that Procreate has their own set of blending brushes, similar to the ones they have in the brush library. So you can use them to blend two colors. Then what's the point to even make this video? Like this is so obvious, they have their own set of blending brushes, you can choose one from them and blend colors, but that that's just not the case. Because let me show you guys why. So suppose I take a brush from the brush library and I paint a color on the canvas and I want to blend two colors. Let's just suppose that. And then I just choose a blending brush, the same one that I use to paint the colors on the canvas. And I'm just going over the edge like this. I'm like this and I'm just blending the colors but the problem here is the blended colors the colors right now doesn't look blended at all it doesn't look good it doesn't look natural it just looks like I'm just like playing with the colors and it just does not look good as you can see right here then how does it work now let me show you guys how so suppose I take a color which is a yellow color, I take this, maybe horizontally, and I take another color, maybe a pink. And I'm just going to tell you how the blending tool works. So uh, I'm going to be taking the same uh, brush I chose to paint the colors on the canvas. So. I'm just going to bring the opacity up to maximum just to show you guys how it works. So, okay. So the thing is, if you go from this color to this color with the blending brush, like this, from here to here, you're going to take this pink over the yellow. And if you, if you do the same thing, from yellow to pink, the yellow is going to go over the pink one. Now, that's how it works. And if you take the white color on the canvas and go inside your color, it is going to go over your colors and it's going to mess up your paintings. So that's how it really works. And whenever we uh, blend two colors like just roughly like this, that's why they look so blotchy and so harsh and doesn't look good at all. So now I'm going to teach you how to actually blend the colors. So I'm just going to take a soft brush and I'm going to paint it horizontally. And then I'm going to choose a shade. Or maybe I'm just going to take the pink color over the top and the brown one at the bottom like this. So. Now what you gotta do is choose the blending tool and I usually use the airbrush one with the blending tool as well. Make sure that the opacity is turned down to 30% or maybe 44 below 50 is good, right? So first you have to decide how you want your shades to be. So if you want uh, your object or whatever you're painting to go from a darker shade to a lighter one like this then what you'll do is you'll take the blending brush making sure that opacity is really down and taking a size that you think is suitable to you or I prefer a small like a, a size up to 7 to 8 percent maybe a 10 not more than that like this and then what I do is I go over the edge where the two colors are meeting each other and I go over the edge like this three or four times with with my pen just to make the edge a bit softer now as I said if you want your object or a picture a portrait to be shaded from a darker color to a lighter one then what you'll do is you'll first start uh, blending the edge in a circular motion like I'm doing here 
and I'm just going to turn the opacity down a little bit more and I'm just going to blend the edges in a circular motion like this just to mix both the colors at the edge like this now as I want to go from a dark color to a, the lighter one which is from the brown to the pink what I'm going to do is I'm just going to increase the size of the brush a little bit like 11% is good and now I'm just going to use the same technique I told you guys like taking the brown to the pink like this so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slowly in a circular motion bring this brown color over the pink one I'm using circular motion with my stylus pen and I'm taking the brown color to the pink one and if you think that the opacity is really really down and it's not really working and uh, so you can actually bring that up to like 30% is okay and then I'll do the same thing I'll just bring the brown color over the pink one just to fill those gaps in between first like this maybe just bring it very roughly like I'm doing here like this bring it roughly and then just start blending those edges where you just brought the brown color over the pink like the new edge that we have right now so I'm going over that and just blending it in the pink in the circular motion I don't know if you can really see that I'm just going to increase the size of the brush because paints are it really just depends on the size of the object you are painting so yeah the bigger the object the bigger the brush should be and then again going over the new edge And once you're happy with the brown and you think it's like too much of the brown then you can start bringing the pink over the brown with the same technique by just uh, uh, let me show you guys how by just going from the pink color to the brown like this right so I'm going to do that again and I'm just going to soften the edges and make that look more natural, naturally blended like this. And that's basically it. I just if there are any harsh edges just make sure to go over it and in a circular motion and that's what you need to be doing like this and what I also do is I just increase the size of the brush and go over the solid color just to match it with the blended one so I'm by increasing, I just, I've just increased the size of the brush and I'm just going over the solid color that we have right here and just gonna blend any harsh edges again so it just requires some practice to do this to be really good at it you, you just require, you just need to practice a little bit more and then yeah that's that's not real that difficult to be honest and that's basically it right that's how i personally do this so now i'm going to take an example and show you guys how i really go about painting my top or my paintings or any of that and here I'm taking an example of lips and I'm going to be speeding up the process 
because I have already explained you guys and still if you guys want me to do a detailed version of me painting um, an object or a portrait then I can do that too so I'm just gonna be speeding up the process I hope you guys really found this video helpful and you enjoyed it and do not forget to subscribe guys like support my channel I post every freaking week so you just don't want to miss any of my videos because I'm gonna be making more videos on procreate and digital art in general and maybe on traditional art as well so you don't want to miss that right so do not forget to subscribe to my channel and please give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys the next time Something to hold on to, gotta find it first. But here I am, cause I've been laying under palm trees, waiting for the summer. No, and there's nowhere to go. Cause I am happy on this island, wanna be my fun left. I don't ever want to leave.